Loop 360 is a 14 mile stretch of roadway that goes through some of the most scenic part of Austin. There are just too many vehicles operating on too little roadway and the population in Austin has doubled every 20 years since the city was founded. That continues to be the trend and with the added traffic on 360 compared to what's out there now, we're pretty soon approaching gridlock unless we do something about it. And that's the purpose of the Loop 360 program. How do you keep and maintain the local access to the neighborhoods, to the businesses, and then remove the throughput, which is usually the commuters? Compounding that is 360 is one of the most beautiful, iconic drives in the state of Texas. It's beautiful rolling hills, the terrain, the Pennybacker Bridge. Some people know it as the Loop 360 Bridge. And so how do you juggle all of that and still do what we need to do, and that's increase the transportation mobility and safety of the corridor? The whole purpose of this program is to eliminate the traffic signals on the main lanes, to minimize the number of at-grade crossings on 360, and allow the local traffic to use overpasses or underpasses to separate the local traffic and the congestion. This provides both safety for everyone concerned and expedites the travel up and down the corridor. One of the most common questions we get from everybody is why does it take so long to get a project to construction? Specifically with the 360 program, we had a feasibility study from 2014 to 2016. The feasibility study determined a bunch of different options of what the solution might be. So out of that became what the program is as we know it today. We have to go and take all of our projects through the environmental and preliminary design process. We have to know what we have to environmentally clear and we have to know what we're going to be able to construct. And then from there, we walk through the final design process, which is like blueprints for a house. You have to figure out how they're gonna be able to build the roadway. While we're doing all of this, we have to coordinate with our utilities. All of the fiber optics, the water lines, everything that's underground, we have to mitigate those conflicts, whether they have to relocate or we have to design around them. And so when all of that's said and done, then we can finally go to construction. And most of our projects have between a two year to three year construction time frame. It's like an eight to 10 year process to get a project from concept to construction. We put a lot of emphasis on really getting the public involved in the whole concept, the design and the construction of our major projects. Most residents deal with the roadway 24 seven. So we get a lot of insights as to what's needed. 